The movie is about three boys celebrating Mardi Gras in hopes of getting laid, and Mike finds out his girlfriend is a cheater. Hey guys, welcome back to Flix Recap. Today we're covering Mardi Gras Spring Break, a 2011 comedy. This movie will make you laugh every time you watch it. Before we start, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to Flix Recap if you dig the breakdown. And as a quick reminder, this video contains spoilers, so you have been warned. The movie begins with Mike sitting in class with his girlfriend Erica. Out of nowhere, Bump enters the class fully unclothed with Scotty to announce a wild party at night. On their way out the door, the lower door is locked, so they rush back upstairs and hand everyone flyers on the way. Fast forward to the party, no one shows up except two nerdy boys. Bump and Scotty feel distressed for not being considered cool and leave Mike out because he's the only one with a girlfriend. They turn on the TV and see that the Mardi Gras festival is happening soon. Bump says it's the only chance Scotty can get laid and they need to go. Mike says he won't go, but the boys insist they need him as their wingman. Erica enters crying, saying her grandfather passed away. Mike consoles and hugs her. She says she will be occupied for a few days and leaves, which makes Bump really happy as now Mike is free to go with them. The very next day, they travel by road to celebrate Mardi Gras and get some action. When they reach, Bump buys loads of colorful necklaces to impress girls. Next, they drive to the festival and get disappointed seeing a crowd full of people throwing bead jewelry here and there with rude girls who won't undress for them. Scotty spots a beautiful girl, walks over to her, and hands her his only real pearl necklace, which used to belong to his grandmother. She takes it, thanks him, and walks away. Scotty had no idea she's Carmen Electra, and he wasted his only jewelry on a famous personality he can never have a chance with. Mike starts texting Erica he misses her, and the boys stop him, but they all get distracted by a girl lifting her shirt and shaking her melons for the entire crowd to see. When she pulls her shirt down, they run away, seeing the girl is Erica. Mike loses his mind, realizing Erica lied to him about her grandfather's death so she could come here. They all walk towards his car to go back to their hotel, but the car is gone. Somehow they reach the hotel and find out the hotel has been booked for six months, and Scotty accidentally made a dinner reservation instead of booking a room. Without any place to place and Mike's cousins not picking up, the boys end up sleeping on the street. When Scotty and Mike wake up, Bump has found Mike's car and insists Mike on staying because he needs to be as happy as Erica is, and their vacation may have taken a bad start, but will end up being the best. They walk up to a bar and Mike gets really drunk. Suddenly he wakes up and realizes he was passed out for two hours, and now the club is full of people dancing. He walks outside and bumps into a girl, Lucy, thinking she's Erica. They talk and figure they both got lied to by their exes and bond, but then Lucy has to go to a frat house with her friends and leaves. Bump gets annoyed at Mike when he finds out he let Lucy go and blew his chance. He asks Mike and Scotty to meet up in an hour, meanwhile Mike and Scotty look for a place to shower and freshen up, but no hotel lets them do it. Bump, on the other hand, tries to hit on three girls at a restaurant, and the waitress turns out to be Anne, who Bump literally bumped into on the first day of Mardi Gras. She doesn't pull up her shirt for him and tries again in exchange for a necklace, but she just gets annoyed. Meanwhile, Scotty and Mike go to the same hotel as yesterday in hopes of a vacancy, but there isn't any. Scotty needs to take a dump and runs into the elevator in search of a bathroom, although only guests are allowed to use it. Outside, Mike finds Bump flirting with two underage girls and their father intervening. Mike suggests their dad live at some other hotel, since on Bourbon Street, their girls are going to be hit on daily during Mardi Gras. The father agrees, and finally Mike gets a hotel room vacancy. Meanwhile, Scotty finally finds an open room, rushes to the toilet, takes a dump, and finds his grandmother's necklace on the washroom counter. Lucky him! Scotty calls the boys and tells him he's in Carmen's washroom, and they warn him she's coming upstairs because they're getting the vacant room booked downstairs. Scotty is stuck in the washroom as the toilet isn't flushing. He picks up his rock-hard poop, wraps it in a towel, and hides in the tub because Carmen enters the washroom. She turns the shower, unaware of Scotty hiding behind the curtains. Then she goes outside and he gets out of the tub to hide under the sink. Little does he know he will get a feast for his eyes when Carmen and her friend both undress and get in the shower together. Okay guys, quick pause to remind you to comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. On with the recap. Scotty gets up, takes his necklace back, grabs Carmen's underwear, and runs away with the poop wrapped in a towel. 
Little does he know security is waiting for him right outside. They take him downstairs to kick him out and snatch his towel, which makes the poop fly up, hit the fan, and spread shit everywhere. Upstairs, Mike and Bump enjoy their room. Mike gets a text from Erica saying she's at the funeral, which pisses him off, and he's ready to party. They get ready, go downstairs, and find Scotty bathing in a fountain. The boys head to the frat house, a club where Lucy said she'll be, and Mike finds her. Only a few lucky contestant winners will get free passes to the wildest party happening soon, and Bump manages to get the boys in. Lucy says she'll be there too, and on TV they show Erica kissing boys and girls, since she will also be a rival at the party. This makes Mike all geared up in hopes of facing and beating her in the game. Three potential teams get selected with Mike's being the only boy one. They have two passes and three challenges to see which one will get the VIP passes. The last challenge includes sticking a banana in your mouth, then between another person's legs and into another person's bum. Scotty tries to run away, but Bump grabs him by his underwear and enters the banana, making them win the passes. At night, they get to the party with their VIP passes but still aren't allowed to enter without any hot girls. Mike has an idea, and they all go to his cousin's house to invite them. The cousins turn out to be really hot twins who are all over Mike. They're in for the party, but stop for costume shopping on the way. The twins call Mike inside the try room for a family member's perspective, and he rushes out seeing them jugs. Bump is annoyed at Mike for not hitting on them. They all get costumes and get to the party in a cab. One twin sits on Mike's lap and says she forgot her panties at the store. Between her legs, she feels Mike's phone, but it's actually something else. At the party, the twins, Mike and Scotty, enter. They don't notice Bump is stopped outside due to unequal boy and girl ratio. Inside, the twins take Mike dancing, and Carmen asks her guards to call Scotty to the VIP room. Finally, Mike spots Lucy and goes over to her to ask for a dance. He's really happy Bump dragged him to Mardi Gras. Meanwhile, outside, Bump pays a lady for her costume and dresses up as a woman to go inside, but the bouncer recognizes him and asks him to leave. People around Bump recognize him as the contest winner and make fun of him for being outside. Inside, Mike and Lucy are having a great time dancing. In the VIP lounge, Carmen confesses to Scotty that she lost his necklace, but he gives it back to her saying he found it. Then she takes him with her to the dance floor. Later, Lucy takes off Mike's mask and leans in to kiss him, but Erica intervenes. She tells Mike she lied to him because he wouldn't understand, and all the girls were coming down here. She walks over to Mike and kisses him, which makes Lucy walk away. Mike tells Erica he won't get played by her again, nor does he want her anymore. He breaks up with her and walks away to find Lucy. He goes outside and tries to stop Lucy, but she's already seated in a taxi and flee away. Mike spots Bump sitting on the footpath dresses as a girl and wonders what's happening. Bump is upset Mike forgot about him, but Mike insults him instead and walks away. Bump is more upset and walks away too. Inside, Scotty is having the time of his life, dancing with Carmen and resting on her jugs when he feels too tipsy. Meanwhile, disheartened, Bump walks in his heels to Anne's restaurant and sits down to talk to her even though the restaurant is past closing time. He talks to her nicely for the first time and she listens. Anne says she's going to show Bump the real Mardi Gras. She takes him out on the streets where the Mardi Gras celebration is and they both have fun dancing. On the other hand, Mike is back in his hotel room, getting drunk and calling hotels to find out where Lucy lives. In the morning, Scotty wakes up and thinks he's in Carmen's bed. He gets shocked when he sees a dude walk in the room and gets flashbacks of himself dancing and spending the night with his boy, not Carmen. That was all an illusion. Back at the hotel, Mike wakes up and goes downstairs for breakfast. He runs into Bump and Ann and eats with them. They forgive each other and move on. Scotty comes by too and announces that he's into men, not women. Later, Anne takes them to the best hotel room in another hotel. They never knew her dad is the hotel manager. They all host a Mardi Gras party and invite people they know. The party is lit and the boys stand at the balcony, throwing necklaces to people on the streets. Carmen comes on a majestic platform on wheels. She spots Scotty and asks him where he went and makes him come down to her. When they meet, he gets to know he actually did it with her, and the dude was just her assistant who brought him breakfast. So it was Carmen all along, and he announced his achievement to the entire crowd. Next, Mike spots Lucy and jumps onto a higher platform to call out her name. She doesn't hear, and the entire crowd stands chanting her name until she looks. They clear a pathway between them and let them talk. 
He tells Lucy he wants her, but she isn't convinced. The crowd asks him to strip down if he really means it, and Lucy agrees. He hesitates a little, but eventually gets unclothed and everyone cheers for him. Up on the balcony, Anne kisses Bump on the mouth, and he gifts her all the necklaces. Back on the floor, Mike gets down and Lucy walks over to kiss him. All three couples meet and decide to vacation for Mardi Gras next time, again in the same city. What did you think? Did these couples last, or was it a one-time thing? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and of course be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time!